So I think we all can agree that we've done our fair share of shell challenges in the past in The Sims 4, and personally they can be quite daunting, but also equally rewarding at the same time. One, because there's rules based on the shell challenge that can be quite difficult, but also it's very fun to have restrictions to learn about landscaping, roofing, layouts, the whole shebang shebang, and even the location. Now personally, I did this on Twitch a couple weeks ago, as I said, and if you didn't catch the live stream, I will link it down below in the description to my second YouTube channel called More Spring Sims. It's basically like a hub of a place where I re-upload all of my Twitch streams that I've done in the past and also present too. But enough of the self promo. This build was something different. One, because it was a one story build and I love when it's like one story because it gives me a sense of less anxiety and anxiousness to give me some wiggle room to do what I want on the landscaping, especially like in the backyard area and it's a little bit smaller. And when I was doing this on stream, I was trying to figure out the best possible location to put this in because at first I had put it in Newcrest, but then I thought to myself, I don't really build in any of the other worlds for like shell challenges or builds in general because the lighting is way better in Newcrest than any other world I would say because it's all empty and the views are just great but I thought to myself maybe I should build in Del Sol Valley because I normally do not build there and nor have I built there in a very long time I think since Get Famous came out so it's been a quite a hot minute since then but for the story that I had in mind for this build made perfect sense for it and so the idea that I had was an artist who was going back to school to be a doctor not a plastic surgeon because Judas Ward's been cut off since the 1980s and she does not need any more. We cut her off so long ago. So no, no, no surgeon, no plastic surgeon up in here. Not today, not ever. But I do want to have my Sim become like some type of doctor in that field. Even though they are an artist, I want them to kind of have more experience and learn the ins and outs of ways of Delso Valley and just like the whole medical field in general. One, because a sim has really had a, not really a difficult life, more so a sim that has been going through life of figuring out what they really want to do and how they want to get there. Like all their life, they've always been the type of person who wants to experience anything and everything, no matter what the cost, no matter what the consequences, no matter what time period it might be in. And now this sim is only 27 years old. They lived in San Machino, they lived in Brychester, they lived in Willow Creek, they lived in Newcrest. They've been basically everywhere in their lives. They've moved around a lot because of their parents and everything, and they settled down in one location. Newcrest it was kind of like their permanent home for quite some time until they recently went to university to become an art major because they do love art and they love being creative and they wanted to see how far they could go. Now, personally, I find that the Sim wanting to experience a new art form when it comes to the medical field. And the Sim, top of their class, graduated top of their class in the art degree, did know, know whole art critic career for quite some time, don't really know the Sim's name, in Sam, as you know, there's the, the Lobo person, Blink Lobo, him. Basically, that Sim right there and my Sim got together. They hung out. They kind of learned some experiences or my Sim learned experience from that Mr. Lobo. And he's really knowledgeable. He's an art critic. He knows what he's talking about. He just has everything and anything that a, a new starter artiste needs in life to kind of basically be well known. Now, personally, the Sim didn't really have a lot of, what's the experience when it comes to branding themselves properly, when it comes to the art form of painting and graphic design, but they wanted to see how far they could go. Now, they moved from Sam Aishino to Brychester for their first two semesters for a short minute, just to experience the whole college life and the dorm life and see what it had to offer. They didn't really experience it that much because they didn't like the whole being in front of people, hanging out with people, even though they kind of did become friends with Angela Pleasant, Liz Pleasant, and I forget which one they went to, Foxbury or Brychester. One of the two, they, they did one of them. They had a distinguished degree in it. And they did that for two semesters on campus, decided that they want to go back to the city and be mentored by Mr. Lobo and understand the ins and outs of the art industry. Now, they've been trying to figure out the best possible way where they could live since they couldn't afford Uptown or the Fashion District or the other district, I can't remember right now. They decided to go ahead and live in the Spice District. 
And the spicy shrimp is a little bit more run down, a bit more cheaper on the cheaper side with a few problems here and there. And they lived there for the rest of their college life. Now, when they graduated, top of their class, like I said, very knowledgeable, very, you know, experimental, very educated and everything. They lived in San Machino for, I would say, about maybe two and a half years after graduation. And they felt like they were just missing something from their lives. They felt that they needed way more. Now, personally, I would never, ever have my Sims go back to university after struggling for years on end of having them understand from high school, elementary school, the scout after school activity, the drama club after school activity, the whole thing. I don't want to go through that whole mess again. But my sim decided that, you know, ever since they were little, about like around like eight or nine years old, they felt they were longing more. They, like I said, they loved pretty much anything and everything. And no matter what the cost, they would do it. And this child, this child had the audacity, the nerve to decide that, you know what? Being an artist is not enough for me. I want to be a doctor. And I'm like, are you sure? Are you really sure you want to be a doctor in this day and age of life? They said, yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I said, sure. Why not? So I've noticed that learning about their lives a little bit more. I did remember that when they were kids or when they were a kid, they had this doll set. And if you have the Sims 4 Parenthood Game Pack, there's a doll set or technically two doll sets. One is like an animal based doll set that has a bear you know, a, that's a scope and doctor stuff. And then there's like a baby human play set where my sim chose the human route instead of the animal route because they didn't want to deal with animals at all. But however, this person's a cat person has two cats or is going to get a second cat. They have one cat named Milton right now who's going to be an adult very soon in a couple of days, which I'm not looking forward to that at all. But like I said, they want to go with the human route and kind of understand the whole human anatomy, the human of life, the, the circle of life of humans and everything. They loved biology. They loved science. They loved medical things and medical terms. And I just don't know. As much as I watch Grey's Anatomy, I am no doctor. So I feel as the Sim is going to be the next Meredith Grey, but not really the next Meredith Grey because Meredith Grey, her life was complicated in that show. 19 seasons or almost 19 seasons and running they should end at season 20 with like maybe five episodes or 10 episodes and then let it end because that show's been going on for like too long since 2005 and they're at 18 seasons right now at the time i'm recording this video somewhere in the future it might be 20 or 25 seasons we just don't know when it'll end but as of right now, it's still going and uh, we can only hope for the best that Ellen Pompeo would say, yeah, I'm done. I got to go, you know, earning half a million dollars per episode. It's not enough for me. So I think I'm going to rest and retire and just uh, live my life with my kids and, and enjoy the rest of the life that I have. Because Lordy Lou, Ellen Pompeo is rich after every episode. Half a million dollars per episode. Love that for her. You do you. But besides that, my sim is not going to be the next great, the Meredith Grey at all. However, the sim is personally going to be not a plastic surgeon, but they want to be a surgeon of some type. And the only reason why I'm doing this like backstory for the sim is because one, I've I haven't really experienced the doctor career in the Sims 4 with Get to Work since Get to Work. Like the last time I actually played the doctor career was when Get to Work came out for like two weeks and then I quit the whole thing because I was frustrated and I didn't like it anymore but now that I'm older and wiser and I understand the game a little bit more and I have more packs I can finally use all the packs to my disposal and make a good running hospital that's not gonna break every two seconds but yeah my sim's gonna be a doctor slash artist and Lo and behold, they haven't really gotten their acceptance letter yet of being in the doctor career or the doctor tracking university just yet. But they have all the knowledge and the expertise to get into that because since they were kids, like I said, they had a place set and they went the human route. But if you didn't know this, there's actually a mood that you get with parenthood with one of those two play sets. Either you want to be an animal doctor or a people doctor. Forget what the mullet says, but 
it's basically a child's like long wish to become a doctor one day. And I think it's like really, really cool that they added that in to as like a special touch. And if that kid, if you're Sim, who played as, a, as you know, with that doll set for a very long time and got that mood lit, eventually down the line, when you achieve that like childhood wish of becoming a doctor, they'll get another mood lit saying that they achieved their childhood dream of becoming a doctor. And I think that's like so freaking cool of like small little details of like the Sims 4 that are not a lot of people know about. And I think it's really unique to experience the game in a different way. At least for me it is because I don't really play the game every day. I mean, I might play it on Twitch every single day pretty much at this point. I don't play it by myself half of the time because I'm always like recording or, you know, streaming it. That I don't really have that me time to play the game if that makes sense so I don't really actually play the game I just play it for content if that I don't know I mean if I wasn't a youtuber I would still play this game religiously and have it for fun and just do whatever and I think it's like a misconception if that's a word that youtubers who play sims don't actually enjoy the sims and I think it's false we do love the sims more so than others and we play it religiously, sometimes on camera, sometimes off camera. And I think ever since we became YouTubers, it's always like so different because it's like our job and we, what we do for a living. And I enjoy it. I honestly love playing The Sims for a living. It's like one of my best jobs. I can't imagine anything different, to be honest. Like any, I couldn't imagine myself not making a YouTube channel based off of Sims or like a life simulation or type of game, if that makes sense. I don't know. But besides all of that, life is different. We all play Sims. We all love it. And it's, it's a vibe and it's what we live for. But you know how I said that the Sim lived in San Mishuna for a hot minute? Well, the Sim moved to Delso Valley to become something different. Get a new head on their shoulders, a new different uh, pay, a change of pace, scenery, the whole nine yards. However, they came to Delso Valley with no friends. And the only person that they kind of know is Mr. Lobo from Sam as you know. He isn't really that hot in Delso Valley. However, I feel like the Sim could probably get to know Izzy Fabulous and probably invite Mr. Lobo over to their house to hang out and make friends and see what the world has to offer in Delso for them. And I think that's going to be really exciting to see how far I can go with the doctor career because right now in another safe file that I have with Aspen O'Connor, I made a video all about it, about Aspen. I'll link it down below, of course, if you want to see the whole little experience of Aspen O'Connor, of what she does and everything. And for the first time in a long time, I'll be able to experience the doctor career once Aspen graduates, of course, and, and see how far I can take it. And I definitely want to do an update video when I get to that point, because it'll be so much fun experiencing the doctor career again. Because at this point, I've pretty much played almost every career because of the Not So Berry Challenge. And if you're not familiarized with the Not So Berry Challenge, it was created by a little Simsy and Always Simming, where each generation is a different color and based on that color is a different aspiration, skills you have to do, a, a career, relationships, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, personally for me at this time in the Not So Berry Challenge, I'm actually playing on this lot, but not in this house, but I'm playing on this lot right now and I do it on Twitch almost nearly every other week and I'm on generation nine which is the green gen and the green gen is so daunting to me because one tech guru career never done it in my life never gotten that far we have to have five friends and five enemies except every single event we ever get master the career master the aspiration which I can't remember master the mixology uh gaming and programming skill and that's literally it there's so many requirements but it's so much fun because the one thing I, I love about Kayla and Zoe that their minds are very, very like big and they know so much. But what I like about the challenge that made it so unique and very fun and why I recommend to so many different people is that if you don't play the game like how you usually like how it should be played, I guess, without mods and custom kind of whatever, or you don't really necessarily play with all the careers or all the skills or all the aspirations. This is a challenge that allows you to kind of experience the game for what it is, like through all the careers and all the aspirations and all the skills and even like experiencing how relationships work or how to gain relationships faster or, you know, deplete them into the abyss, whichever have you. And so if you want to experience not to berry challenge, I recommend it. 
pretty much at this time right now, before they updated, you only really need City Living and Get to Work to really fully run all 10 generations because at the time in 2017, we only had technically those two packs that had careers, I guess. So if you have those two packs, I recommend the challenge. There is a base game version, of course, not made by them, but someone made a base game version of the challenge by getting giving them credit, of course, because give proper credit where it's due, as always. And I think that it's important to really experience how the game works with all base game careers or just with certain packs with those from those careers. So if you want to do it down below, check it out. It's really fun. I do recommend it. I'm not just saying that because Kayla's my friend and I'm doing her challenge, but I think it's a genuine challenge that I actually fully enjoy and play through. And I am up to ten, nine generations. So if you want to see all those nine generations, I'll link those playlists down below. I have to link down so many things. I just realized, wow. Not so berry playlist YouTube channel. That's a lot. That's a lot of things. Also, I talk so much that I tend to forget what I'm saying at the time. And I don't remember what I'm talking about pretty much all the time. But you know, hey, that's life. What can you really do about it? But anyway, the whole entire house in the interior, I would say, was my ultimate favorite to do. One, because I use a lot of mid-century modern furniture from bowling night stuff. Um, I also used from Home Decorator and even, even using Batu, even though Batu is not mid-century modern, but like I use some Batu for crates in the back garage area, but I definitely use a lot of like Dream Home Decorator, um, Bowling Night stuff and including, I think, Tiny Living and also the Blooming Rooms kit. And there was a one other pack that's, oh, Get Famous. How could I forget Get Famous? It's literally the world I'm in right now. It's Delta Valley. But yeah. Those packs are really good to use. Like if you want mid-century modern furniture, dream home decorator, bowling night stuff, get famous. Those three packs alone are definitely worth getting if you want a Pacific style of home. And cramping all of this furniture into this small little space was the most difficult thing to do because if you saw like the beginning layout, it was all closed off. And personally, I've been trying to stray away from closing everything off in my builds because... Normally, I don't know how to fill in different corners of the room or empty spaces. I try to fill in every nook and cranny into a build so it's all filled in. But I realize that I don't need to do that all the time. Maybe some empty space is good. It gives a sense of character. It gives a sense of, you know, realism and gives your Sims do whatever they want and fill in that space however you want, basically, for their home. And I think that with the Sim is learning that over time of course they've accumulated things over the years in the past like recent years of like high school and their first four years of university and also experiencing the doctor career or the doctor track sooner rather than later as they are accepting hopefully they get in in the distinguished degree because that's my plan if not i'll just cheat it because that's what i'll do in all of my save files i'll just cheat their career if i have to for the sake of the story but this sim, like I said, is trying to achieve greatness, a try and achieve whatever is possible and allows them to do whatever until like the day they, they die. Like I've never really had a sim family that has lasted more than like maybe five generations or six. It depends on the story and like how I fully immersed myself into those sims characters. And I think that with the Not So Berry Challenge, it's the longest like family I've ever created and played through and have not deleted the save file or have like completely stopped playing. Of course, I've taken breaks in between of playing that challenge. Of course, we all need breaks from challenges in The Sims. And I think it's worth it. But going back to Not So Berry, it's nine generations I've done. And it's so crazy that I'm almost done with that challenge. That's so weird. But hey, I might do another one. And I kind of want to do a legacy challenge on YouTube, like a short life legacy challenge, but I kind of don't want to rush through it. I kind of want to be able to do it on a normal lifespan and see how far I can go because I used to do, I used to have this challenge called the Mendoza Legacy Challenge and it was a simple family legacy. It was like years ago at the very beginning of my YouTube channel. And honestly, I really loved that family so much and I stopped playing them for some odd reason and I don't know why. But I really enjoyed that family and it was a lot of fun. And then when Dine Out came out, 
I remember I had this Italian slash German family called the De Luso family. Their words full of drama, full of chaos and randomness. I still have that save file. That family tree is like five generations deep and I stopped playing them. But now I'm like, I need a, I need a, I need a new family tree, a new life that allows me to experience the game like I used to play it without like recording anything. And I think that's why I have this one single save file with Aspen O'Connor that I don't record any content for. I don't stream any of it and I just play it whenever I have time. And I think that's what we all need. What I've learned from all of my friends and what they've said in the past, like we all need time for ourselves and we all need a way where we can experience the Sims that we don't have to record or we don't have to be on all the time or having to do some type of like reaction and upbeat personality type of way. I don't know. I think that was with me personally. I just do whatever I want. And I think that for me, I need to have a sense of like space. Like, I can't always record YouTube videos. I can't always stream everything. Because I feel like if I stream everything, then I have nothing else left for myself. You know what I mean? So it's, it's definitely a interesting way of thinking about it. And I think that's why The Sim is how I resonate with them so much. Is where they can do literally anything and everything they want to do. But also, they need time for themselves to allow themselves to grow and experience life the way they want to live it. And at their own pace and at their own time. And that's why they've moved so many times in their lives that didn't really have a time for themselves to experience their adulthood. And I think living in this home gives them that sense of adulthood. And maybe that's why they're going to the doctor career. Could be, could not be. We just don't really know until it actually fully happens and see how far we can go with it. But ultimately, at the end of the day, those are my, that's my sim. They have a cat named Milton and it's going great. But hopefully at the end, the result, you all will download this and have fun playing it, playing in it eventually when I upload the gallery. To be fully honest with you all, I have to say the shell challenge was a doozy, but it was so much fun to do. One, because the shell was already built for me, thanks to Simsy. But then also two, I just had like a genuine fun time being able to create a story based on the surrounding area in Del Sol Valley with one Sim who already had a degree but is going back for another one. And it kind of came it to like came to life when I started putting different objects in different places, changing the layout, and just like the whole idea of how was I going to make this my own with my own like creative spin to it if that makes sense and personally the home itself on the inside is very small and very compact because the shell itself is small and I couldn't really do much but it kind of made it work based on the story and also the surrounding area and I feel like in California IRL the homes are like small depending on where you live, but they're also equally expensive. Like some homes are like a two bedroom, one bathroom home could be like a million dollars. But overall, the whole home is just very small. I love this open living space right here because normally I never do open floor plans ever in The Sims because I get frustrated. Plus, I don't know what to put in them, but I made sure I added in the kitchen, living room, and dining room. But then for the backyard, I would say was probably the most difficult for me to do because I don't really do backyards as much. And the fact that this lot is so big, I think that I could have probably expanded the landscaping a little bit more or probably pushed the pool forward a little bit more. But I kind of like where it's at because based on the idea I had in my head, the pool's on the back of the lot near the alleyway, along with their like small little fake garage with their art supplies and medical supplies as well. But also including a garden area for them to make plants, their own produce, do some simple living, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I think that having all this in here was perfect perfect for them and perfect for the story that I kind of technically had in mind and but I did want to mention that I did a built-in grill with all this clutter and honestly I've never done like a built-in grill like with counters like this near a pool but I guess with the vibe of Delso Valley and California and everything they have built-in grills near their pool so I thought it made sense for realism. But either way, as always, I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below. As always, did you do a little Simsy shell challenge? If you did, let me know. If you didn't, would you love a shell challenge? Because I will make one for you all. I definitely will. <laughs> but overall, as always, I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.